Hey, it's Gary Dean. I'm just picking up my brand new truck. Super stoked about it. Bill Curry Ford, they do a great job here in Tampa. This is my brand new F-150 XLT Sport in blue flame metallic like the other two trucks I've owned. This thing is beautiful. They did exactly what I asked them to do is leave it dirty and leave the stickers on, leave all of everything inside. exactly how I asked. They didn't touch it, they didn't wash it. That's customer service. And I didn't have to tell them a hundred times. It is dirty. I'm excited. I don't know what ran up against the side there, but that's all right, I'm gonna fix it. Super, super stoked. Again, that's Bill Curry Ford in Tampa, Florida, and it's my new baby. Uh, I'm gonna get the detail done this week, kinda busy, but I'm gonna work it in. So, I can't tell you how excited I am. All right, stay tuned for the, uh, the detail video. All right, guys, this is the morning after I picked up my baby from Bill, Bill Curry Ford yesterday. Uh, as you can see, they did not prep the vehicle per my request. I wanted to do it all by myself. which any detailer should. I did not want them to have an opportunity to do any extra scratch work. So I opted just to do the, the prep myself. Um, not much for chrome. I think that chrome tip's gonna come off. But she is dirty. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, Kevin Lopez was my sales guy. He straight up dude couldn't be happier with How things went down. This is his card So if you guys want to get in touch with him to buy a vehicle That's it So anyway, it's about time to get started I took all the plastics off. It had a square on both doors. Still got the plastics on the uh, interior. Gotta take that apart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use uh, transform dressing on the interior, diluted, um, and then aqua blocker all over the uh, carpets. And I got some residue to get off from some of the stickers that were on there. Not too bad. Um, I did notice some uh, buffer trails in this area, which I'm not happy with. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time, uh, any anytime soon, to polish this thing. So uh, the plan is gonna be to wash clay bar and put Vitality Shield on it. Uh, get the wheels cleaned up really nice and that kind of thing. So it's uh, nice and protected. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that so that I'm done with it for a little bit. Still got to get the uh, bed liner sprayed in and got to get my floor mats and stuff like that, bed cover. But I'm very happy with it. I love the sport with uh, these wheels. I'm actually going to remove these stickers because I do not like them. Pull those off. Nobody got time for this drama. So I prefer a clean look versus all this craziness. And get them off soon, they come right off. Boom. I like it better like that. 
Then get the other one off the other side. I'm gonna come back and get that adhesive off with some infinite purpose cleaner. You just grab it at the corner right there. Now if this is if these uh, stickers have been on for months or even years, it probably won't be as easy to remove. But these just came right off. So, all right, cool. I'm gonna pull it over in the driveway and uh, get cranking on this thing. Got other things to do today. I'll update you as the uh, detail goes. All right, guys. 2016 F-150 XLT Sport. Bought it from Bill Curry Ford, and I uh, just got done with the uh, new car prep if you want to call it that basically in transit there's a bunch of stickers all over it uh, to identify what the different parts are options that kind of thing window sticker all that stuff and uh, I opted not to have any of that done because I wanted to do it myself to ensure that you know all the residue was off and that the car looked as good as it could when I did my initial detail now I can tell you that this vehicle absolutely needs to be polished. I see a few buff buffer trails uh, here and there. Uh, I'm not sure what, what could have gone down at the uh, factory, but I know that it had just come off of the rail car, which means rail dust was all over this thing. It, it definitely needed to be clayed. It was pretty nasty. I didn't bother uh, stopping to show you guys that, but it was heavily contaminated. Um, maybe I can stick a photo. I took a photo of uh, the clay bar. Maybe I'll stick a photo in the video. But so what I did was I washed with the perfect soap. Well, first of all, I removed all the stickers and uh, I call this the, uh, the bullshit delete package, <laughs> which... Uh, Normally you'd have the dealer do, but Bill, Cur Bill Curry Ford, uh, Bill Curry Ford put a Bill Curry Ford sticker there. Yeah, I don't like any of that. They also put a license plate frame on. Yeah, I'm not. I'll do this video and I'll refer people, but I just don't want my car to say Bill Curry Ford all over it. So I'm calling this the bullshit delete new car prep kind of deal. So I took off the dealer installed sticker and license plate frame and uh, I also took off all the factory installed stickers and that kind of thing. So I washed, so I removed any residue that was on the vehicle with infinite purpose cleaner. There were stickers here and stickers there. Uh, I also removed the sport stickers from the side of the bed. I think it looks cleaner without them, I, I prefer it without them. There were stickers on the wheels, stickers all over the place. So I got all those off. Uh, I got all the residue off with uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Then I proceeded to wash the truck with the Perfect Soap. Um, I used uh, the residual water that was left behind and the Infinite Use Detail Juice to clay bar the vehicle with my ultra fine clay bar that I import from Japan uh, that we sell on detailjuice.com after and I, I, I hosed it down with the ionized water I let it dry uh, after that I gave it a heavy coat of uh, I probably shouldn't mention what it was but uh, it's juice boost but uh, I may or may not have a stronger version of it coming out this fall just saying um, it's all you get for now. So anyway, that is what is on the car. The truck right now is uh, Juice Boost, but a uh, strengthened and refined version of it. So I used it direct to paint. So after the truck was dry, I gave the full exterior a solid coat of uh, Juice Boost. Uh, I also juice boost. I clean the wheels really well, really well with, uh, I sprayed them down with tiger's blood. Uh, and then I used various brushes and my fingers and microfibers to clean them really well. Uh, once those were dried, I also gave them a uh, coat of juice boost. 
uh, all the windows, everything got juice boost. Uh, on the interior, there was a bunch of just stuff all over the carpets. Uh, the mats were still in the bags. Uh, so I cleaned the sticker residue off the windows. Um, I cleaned uh, the interior windows themselves, uh, wiped everything down. I put the mats in their places. Uh, I wiped the door jams out. Nothing fancy there, but she's good to go. I got the chrome tip that I don't love cleaned up. I'll probably be uh, removing that. I just don't love chrome. I may or may not remove those EcoBoost badges. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is uh, my new car prep. I'll do some testing on this uh, new version of the Juice Boost, which is proving to be pretty amazing. I've, I've used it on several cars uh, thus far. I've been using it for the past two months. And uh, I'm about ready to pull the trigger on releasing but that won't be until after the summer's over at least so anyway i want to say uh, thank you to bill curry ford again for uh really doing right by me and uh offering up that rental car when you didn't have to um there's no contract that says hey we'll give you a rental car if your truck's not in but uh they absolutely took it upon themselves to offer that and i truly appreciate it um they we're, we're very respectful, straightforward, no crazy standard dealer bullshit. Uh, it, was, it was right on. They were right on. And thanks again for uh, Kevin Lopez, my sales guy. Uh, he, was, he was great. So if you guys need a new vehicle, a new Ford or even one of their used cars, check out BillCurryFord.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time out of your day to watch my videos. If I can do anything for you, if I can assist you in your detailing endeavors, please let me know. If you need a, car, a vehicle detailed by me, I can hook you up with that. Uh, also check out DetailJuice.com for some of the finest detailing products on the face of the planet. Of course, that is my opinion and the opinion of many, many other people. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. It's all over the web. You can't miss me. Send me a text. Send me a uh, Facebook message. Give me a call, leave me a voicemail, whatever you need to do to get in contact with me. I'll help you out however I can. Go to the site, read the information. If you need me, I'm always here. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.